we're asked to solve for x. And we have 9x squared minus 42x plus 29 is equal to negative 20. Now you might be tempted immediately to try to factor the left-hand side of this equation and get the product of two binomials and that they equal negative 20. But if you think about it, that's not going to help you much. That product of two binomials is only useful if they're equal to 0. Then you can say, well, one or both of them need to be equal to 0. But they can't. you can't make any statement like that if they both equal negative 20. So the first thing we want to do here is not to factor this left-hand side, but to make sure that we have a quadratic equation equaling 0. We want a 0 on one side of this equation. And the best way I can think of doing that is just to add 20 to both sides of this equation. So if we add 20 to both sides of this equation, then we are left with, on the left-hand side, 9x squared, 9x squared minus 42x plus 49 is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic we have a quadratic expression equaling 0. Now we have a nice quadratic equation and we can factor this thing on the left hand side. Now we could factor it by grouping, but you might immediately something might immediately pop out at you. And you know when you see numbers like 9 and 49, those are perfect squares. So maybe this whole expression is the perfect square of some binomial. So let's think about it a little bit. 9 squared is 3x is 3x squared. 9 squared is 3x squared. And 49 is 7 is 7 squared. Or negative 7 squared. Let's see, negative 42. Negative 42 is 2. 3 times 7 is 21. 21 times 2 is positive 42. But if we make this a negative 7, if we make this a negative 7, because negative 7 would also work, negative 7 squared is also 49, then 3 times negative 7 times 2 is negative 42. Let me write that down. 42 is 2 times 3 times negative 7. So this fits the pattern of a perfect square. So the left-hand side of this equation right here, we can write it as, the left-hand side, we can write it as 3x minus 7, 3x minus 7. We could write it as 3x minus 7 times 3x minus 7, or just 3x minus 7 squared. And that is going to be equal to 0. Now, we essentially only have one expression equaling 0 times itself. So the only way that's going to be equal to 0 is if that expression is equal to 0. 3x minus 7 needs to be equal to 0. And now we can just solve for x. Let's add 7 to both sides of this equation. And we get 3x, these cancel out, is equal to 7. Divide both sides by 3. And we get x is equal to 7 thirds. x is equal to, let me just write it here, x is equal to 7 over 3.